So what we have here is a Bell & Howell motion picture projector. 626R, design 462A. And that's one hell of a big serial number there. So that's uh, 7 million possibly units there. <laughs> Made in America, patents pending. I believe this is from uh, the mid 70s. I think I've shown this off before in my look at the Super 8 film format. The thing is, uh, well, I have some new Super 8 films here. I've got three new films here to watch. And uh, the thing is, well, I can't watch them anymore because I went to uh, put one of them in, hit the lamp button, and poof, instantly, the light burned out. And, uh, well, I've been expecting that for a while. This, this lamp's been in there for at least 10 years, I think. And they're only rated for like 10 or 12 hour life. It's a very terrible, <laughs> does not last long for a bulb. But uh, we have a problem, and that is... This bulb here, 10 years ago, it was, you know, perfectly fine, perfectly available. You know, not more than 20, not, I don't even know, it was 20, 30 at most. You know, I, I believe 10 years ago they were still making this bulb brand new. I don't know if they still make it new. All I know is that the prices are fucking ridiculous. Fuck them. Fuck those people. Fuck them. Um, this bulb was used in over a thousand projectors. Almost every single Bell & Howell projector, this one, this is the bulb that was used, and many, many other projectors used this light bulb. Uh, this particular one is an Eco DJL 120 volt, 150 watt light bulb. Um, has that nice little reflector there to keep it going towards the film. Kind of funny, uh, the uh, filament busted off and then it came off to the side here and it kind of like re-welded itself to the side there. It's kind of funny. But yeah, this bulb right now, uh, it's over $100. Way over $100, I think. Maybe even $150. It's, it's stupid how much this bulb is. Uh, there are plenty of them left and they're just gouging people because they know uh, it's needed for these old things and it's not worth it. No. This, this bulb is not worth $5, you know, in parts. However, there is a solution for that old bulb, and I found it, of course. <laughs> this is a newer halogen light bulb um, fitted in this nice assembly here. But this, this bulb itself can come out, I believe. And this is a standard, you know, available halogen spotlight kind of bulb. You can get these very cheaply. Um, yeah, not more, definitely like five bucks probably. Um, and it's 150 watts, so it's the same wattage, but a halogen bulb at the same wattage is going to be much, much brighter, which will be nice because I was never very happy with, uh, the brightness of this particular bulb. But of course, you know, you got to install it and it's not a simple thing. I have seen bulbs like this fitted with a with an end like this so you can just pop them in. I may, probably should have gone with that for the simpler way, but uh, we know, we all know I like to do things unnecessary and this is definitely unnecessary for this old piece of shit that nobody, nobody uses but us old weird nerds. Um, however, this video actually is very necessary for the select few who choose this unnecessary uh, thing um, because this thing comes with instructions and a DVD. These, the instructions are some of the worst written instructions I've ever seen. The DVD is the worst instructional video I have ever seen. We're talking, uh, it's all text based. So, it, you know, it'll, it'll show a guy in his hands, you know, moving and stuff, but he's not talking. It'll have text flash on the screen, but then instantly, like a quarter of a second later, the text is gone, and it goes so damn fast. One after another, one after another, and after another. There's no time to think. It is the worst instructional video I have ever seen. It is impossible to follow without hitting the pause button and rewinding it constantly, and that is not how an instructional video should work. So, this video is necessary to replace that god-awful piece of shit DVD they have. And I'm going to do it uh, similar. 
I don't know if I'm going to do it the exact same way they did it or not, but uh, I don't know because their fucking instructions are so terrible to follow. I, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to study it. I'm going to have to watch that DVD frame for frame for an hour to figure out what the hell they want me to do with this thing. <sighs> First thing is first, I believe they want us to uh, take out the screws on the very bottom, which are these ones here, I guess. So let's uh, take care of that. I've never taken this machine apart before. Uh, I have used it quite extensively over 15 so years. And I don't, I doubt uh, my dad ever took it apart before. Yeah, taking out all the screws here. I don't know. I think it just said something about two of them. But go big or go home is the attitude around here, I guess. Um, and uh, I don't know. Nothing's loose yet. So let's uh, start with the ones on the side of the machine. Okay, it's. I can feel it coming apart now. Thank you. case off. How do we get the back case of it off? That'd be a way to do that. There's one more screw. Oh, oh, it's coming off. I feel it. Let's do the reveal, everybody. Turn this around. some uh, lubrication I believe <laughs> I mean there's still lube there messy 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 lube <laughs> I think I just tasted the 70s <laughs> all right looking at their shitty instructions we missed a couple things on the front Ugh, plugs plugs you suck <laughs> These uh, want these ones off too for the uh, socket there. Cool. One. It is pretty loose now. You can uh, touch it there and it's going backwards. Apparently we need to take the new bulb now and make a guesstimate about the centering of it all. So we got a couple holes here. I imagine that is where it would want us to drill eventually and then we got one there. So I'm guessing that is the other place it would want us want it to be into the frame. So we're going to Yes, it would want it. How would you want this? How are you wanting this, man? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Their instructions, they suck. It just, what a terrible, it's a terrible, terrible video. <laughs> okay, uh, again, they don't tell you to do this, but uh, we'll take out the bulb itself. Again, I believe a very simple bulb to get a hold of. It's the capsule, halogen capsule inside there, with its own little 
uh, reflector and there's the uh, frame for us so this is what we want to uh, drill it comes with two self it comes with two self tapping screws I didn't realize they were self tapping I thought I would have to drill my own thing here but uh, I'll just get a drill hopefully and uh, yeah it only it comes with two though so Imagine it does not want the one on the left, it just wants one on the right and in the middle, I guess. I think. I don't know. If we do it where it said, it said go in between the two. But if I do it there, it's not where, like, it, it lines up perfectly flush pretty much to what they show. But the thing is, I don't know, I'm telling you guys, this is just the worst the worst video you've ever you could ever see it's just it's it's a god awful video i wonder if that's not even for the screws i wonder if the screws are in the front and that hole in the middle it could very well be i wonder if those holes right there i wonder if that's just to get the wires through i bet you it is i bet you it is their video sucks all right yes yes uh this hole is for the uh, wires, and that would be the incorrect spot, actually. So it would actually be more like right there, probably. But, yeah, these two screws over here is what's going to hold it in place. And it should be flush there. So we'll mark those. Make sure uh, we get it right. Hopefully. I got it set up. Let's see. Uh, if we can drill this here a little bit. No! We're gonna put this back in place now. We're gonna put the screw in the one side. And it lines up pretty damn good. That's in a very bad position though, I gotta tell you. <sighs> How the hell are you supposed to get to that thing? Boo! Jesus. Nah. thing already in place let's start the drilling process right in there if we can actually get a decent spot probably not <laughs> terrible 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 placement for some of this shit <clears throat> I think that's okay <laughs> And we got it. That part was not fun at all. Not fun at all. It seems to be uh, fairly even with the um, shutter there. Nice. Our next step inside of the thing. Um, need to take out this socket for the old lamp. I guess we're keeping the overall metal piece. So I guess we use the needle nose pliers here to get these little plastic pieces out. Maybe. That's one. There we go. Yay. So. Got some rivets here, I guess, holding this in. Yeah, we got two rivets there. We want to drill them out to get this out. Now the question is, can we do this without hurting ourselves or others? 
Oh lord. Oh man, I, I probably need a tiny bit shorter drill. <laughs> I think it'll work. Yeah! That scared me. <laughs> Next, this one's going to be uh, a little scarier because it's got some wires behind it. Shall attempt. Oh, this one's tough. Too much. It's all small. It's all small. Too small. All right. There it goes. Come off. Yay, well, it's not exactly, <laughs> exactly perfect there, is it? Can that come off? How does that come off? Yeah, nice. I don't know. I believe we will need these wires to be cut anyway, but uh, until then, there I am. I wanted us to make a 3 8 inch hole uh, to fit a rubber grommet in there, which would probably be the nice and better and prettier option. Probably safer too, but uh, well, I don't have a 3 inch drill a bit on me at the moment, so for now I'm just going to put one of the wires in there where there already was a hole and we're going to drill another hole right next to it. Now we can put a wire there and we can put a wire in there. You know what, I am going to make a new hole about right here um, because uh, this one is going to interfere when I put this sucker back on. I believe it is anyway. Yes, I'm pretty, yeah, it's right in the way of it. So, yes, this way we can kind of feed the wires in through there. Again, this is, their instruct if their instructional video was any better, you know, this wouldn't have been a problem. So now I got an extra little hole in my thing. Well, well, you learn from me. So this is what you call a good instructional video, unlike theirs. So we're going to do another hole. So here's the ugly results. Got <laughs> a whole bunch of holes. That's all right for me. You're not going to be able to see them anyway. And yeah. Just get a 3 8 uh, inch, inch uh, drill and you won't have to deal with this. You can use that grommet, but uh, we don't need it. Not right now. Maybe later. Feed the lines in. Back over here, we can now uh, reattach this fan, a plastic fan assembly, to this bracket. We attach this plastic crap in here. Hopefully it goes back in. I don't know. It seems to. That's good. So just feed these lines through here. And get that set up to go back on eventually. We got this line here, we got this line here, we're gonna have to cut them. It really should not matter which ones these are connected to, so oh, let's just uh, snippy snippy shit, shall we? Mm-hmm. 
Oh no, I didn't want that to happen. Motherfucker. <clears throat> That's okay though, because that just goes right on. Um, to whatever I had it on before. Which would have been this, right? Indeed it was. Goes right back on. Phew, that's a close one. <laughs> and we have a U. You're going to be a little tricky, aren't you? there I believe right by uh fastening this back on I guess all right we screw that plate back on a uh, bit of a tight fit uh, you can do better that's fine mine'll mine will be just fine right there I believe um actually I think we might be due for a test why not why not have a little test Okay. Bulb is in. So the bulb is in. The lines are tied. Let's see what she does. <laughs> Here's the moment of truth. Here's the lamp. <laughs> Yay! Oh yeah, it works. <laughs> There's the small little thing right there. <laughs> uh, hell yeah. We have a winner. Success. Let's put it back together. So go ahead and put the thing back together there. Put the two sides back together. Um, no screws on this one, mostly a couple. Put the screws back on the bottom. Uh, I believe this this is a short, this one you don't have to actually take out. That was uh, for those magnets or something, I guess. It's these two, I believe, that you take out. So, those are, I believe, longer ones. <laughs> and you got some in the front, these smaller ones here. Uh, do I have any of these left? I should have one more of those somewhere. Oh, there it is. I found it. Yeah. Four of these, I think. One, two, three, four there. Longer. Got the very smooth end. Secure. That will secure the front plate. And we got this for the uh, bulb and stuff in the housing. Two screws, uh, get the frame in there that you'll have to drill. This is for the previous frame that used to hold this. But we still have it in there to hold that little uh, plastic thing for the fan. 
there's another smaller one there. Let's see, I got a couple more screws left. Where the hell do they go? <laughs> My front cover is complete, I believe. I don't see anything else. Yeah, front cover looks nice and good. <sighs> but I do still have two screws. It's possible a couple of these went to the previous uh, you know, frame of this thing. I think that is what is causing that. I don't think anything else would go in here. The only thing I can even think of is would be right there. I don't know if that's... Is that something right there? That one goes in too, so okay. Got one more there. And we have one final screw left. And I don't know where it goes. Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah. The final screw would have gone over here. But we do not need it anymore because of this frame. So, good. Good. You'll have one screw left over. It's okay. And uh, it wouldn't be that hard if we want to take this out. To take it out again. Rewire it back to the original if we so choose. But again, we have... Uh, very simple to take this out. And you got the, you know, it's pretty much just the reflector here. And with the bulb in the middle there. And it's just a standard halogen bulb. Um, these are very cheap. Uh, this one in particular, though, might be a little more, because this is 150 watt. I, I imagine 150 watt halogens. You know, a little harder to come by, I would imagine. <laughs> I don't know for sure. But again, yeah, it's a halogen and it gets hot, so make sure you, uh, Make sure you uh, get some Windex and clean that sucker up. I believe in the box mine came in, it even came with a little uh, towelette. So let's use the towelette. The lens cleaning wipe. Oh. Let's clean that little halogen bulb there. I mean, it's very hard to actually clean the bulb itself because of the way it's positioned inside. I would have figured most... I've seen a lot of halogens with this, you know, reflector design, but I've never seen one without glass on top, so, you know, another further protectant for the actual halogen capsule. This one does not have that, so it makes it very hard to get to the very bottom of the capsule to clean it. Clean up a little bit around the thing. Again, I will take this apart again at some other point. Once I find some nice plastic, it's got to be a certain type of plastic uh, grease. Something that would be okay with that ABS shit. I can't believe, you know, a 1970s projector like this, everything else is made of such high quality parts. Why the fuck did they use ABS plastic for those gears? <laughs> I mean, they're still working. <laughs> got nothing against that, but the plastic itself, very, very cheap plastic that's yellowed and shit. Yeah, I don't like that part. But yeah, simple. Goes right in there. Lock and load. Oh, and I do believe I forgot this. I forgot to, uh, I already had this off when I started the video, but this is the cover for the lens. But yeah, that's uh, this one can be hard to put on sometimes. Let's see if I can actually get it right this time. I always seem to have issues putting this on. I can get it off okay. Putting it on is another matter. Oh, and that, of course. Of course, that was the that was the easiest I've ever had, putting it back on. <laughs> yeah, that's the bulb that comes off fairly simply. And there you can get it back at it. Protects it. Uh, reflects some light if it gets out again. Reflects it more back on the inside. I think I might want to clean that a little with some brass cleaner or something. Um, yeah. Nice and simple. Uh, we got our projector working again. She is uh, beautiful. And we'll uh, load it up once again here just to show you it all working with it all intact. And here she goes. The magic of a movies. Phew. 
Why don't we uh, show it working? Why don't we put a film on there? Why don't we put one of these new films on there that I've been eager to look at and uh, give it a try, shall we? Alright guys. Alright guys, so this is the new uh, film, one of the new films anyway. This is me at the Belle Isle. Uh, Think in your heads, uh, Peter Gabriel, Salisbury Hill. Uh, it's the only Super 8 film I ever made, or I thought ahead of time, I want to make a film with this music in the background. And this, uh, the whole damn thing is designed around Salisbury Hill. Looking at the city lights, yeah, this, this whole damn thing is designed around um, this particular song. Now, I have to say about this bulb, uh, at first glance, it looks a little dimmer than the original. I was hoping the halogen would give it a little more brightness at the same wattage. Um, I don't believe that's the case. I believe it's a tiny bit uh, lower brightness. Uh, I don't know. I, sh I guess I should have looked at the lumens, I guess, to see. A lot of times now, if you get a light bulb that's, say, you know, they, they have the uh, old... The old light bulbs are now, uh, you know, are, are now illegal. So we've got a hundred watt light bulb, but now they have a equivalent 55 watt halogen or something. That is the equivalent of a hundred watt. But if you actually look at it, the lumens are less on the halogen. Um, so I don't know. But then again, a car light bulb. When car light bulbs went to halogen compared to standard, you know. They were actually brighter. A 50 watt halogen bulb was brighter than the 50 watt uh, you know, standard uh, tungsten bulb. But now, I don't know. I guess it's different. I don't know. Sometimes this one really feels, oh, I mean, again, it's, we're still in the daytime here, so it's not as bright as it would be at night. But I've had the thing on during the daytime before, and it's looked brighter than this. Nevertheless, it's acceptable to me. And it's going to last a hell of a lot longer. And uh, it's just an overall. It's a nice, it's all right. Maybe I can get a 200 watt halogen in the same size. Maybe I can uh, a little, try to up it up a little more. I don't know. We'll see about that later on. But this, this is just fine for now. Um, I really was hoping, though, it would be a tiny bit brighter because I've never, I never was happy with the brightness. I always thought it should be a little brighter than it was. I have a, uh, 450 watt uh, light bulb for my 35 millimeter slide projector, you know, and this is only 150 watts. It, uh, I feel it needs a little, just a little bit more uh, oomph to it. For my satisfaction, the slide projector I can put on in the daytime, it looks great. This one, it's, it's okay, but it's not, you know, not a great experience. It needs to be a little brighter, but it's okay. Um, overall, hell of a, you know, it's over $100 for the old bulb, you know, $45 well spent, and from now on, when the damn bulb dies, it'll be nice and cheap for me. So, I believe that's the end of it. Yay! That's the end. Beautiful, beautiful thing. And I got two more where that came from. <laughs> and I believe you guys want to see that one. I will have a video of it up shortly, or maybe it's already out. I don't know, but uh, yeah, that one's special because it's you know an arty. It's an arty film for me, so go and see it if you haven't. And I get, and I suppose the old bulb and we got this old, uh, we got the old holder for it. So now we put them together. Yeah, put them together. Ow! There we go. <laughs> we got a nice, we got a nice little memento. Okay, we can put that away, save it for all time as one of our little trophies, our unnecessary trophies from our unnecessary surgeries. If you yourself want to do this, uh, it's the DJL projector lamp replacement module. Replace your expensive DJL and last longer. It's forty four. Forty-four ninety, so it's forty-five bucks and free shipping. And again, the the absolute absolute worst instructions I have ever seen. Okay, IKEA, IKEA with their absolutely terrible illustrations, no written instructions, just the worst tiny tiny little instructions. 
they're better. It's way better than what these guys gave me. So I really hope anybody out there that thinks their instructions are pieces of shit, which includes me, uh, will get some benefit out of this awful instructions. This is how it should be. Uh, I'm not saying I'm perfect either, but <laughs> I am saying without a doubt in my mind uh, what you just saw. Just absolute, absolute, a thousand times better than their written or their, especially their video. That was the worst video instructions I've ever seen in my entire life. So, um, it's, this is an un unnecessary surgery, but it was absolutely necessary because of that absolute shit, shit walk through the video. That's uh, another uh, unnecessary surgery video. Hope everybody enjoyed. It. Hope you will check out. I hope you will check out the Super 8 film that I just showed. And uh, I made a previous video about Super 8 formats too. If you want to check that one out. And yeah, stay tuned for more gaming videos and such. Subscribe if you want to. I'm Shot 97. See you all the fuck later.